I lost 50 pounds in three months. Join me as I either lose the next 50 or slowly erase all the progress I've made. Hey everyone, my name is Chris, and welcome to what I'm apparently calling Tread Talks. The reason for this channel is because my life is at a bit of a crossroads. About four months ago, I realized that I was 100 pounds overweight, and so over the course of the next three months, I lost 60 of those pounds. And I was so excited about reaching that goal that I celebrated by eating everything in sight. And so I gained 10 of those pounds back. So I really am in the middle. 50 pounds from where I was, 50 pounds from where I want to be. And so I'm starting this channel as a way to keep me accountable to continuing to move forward and to share my story with others. Now, I'm not an expert, and I certainly don't want to be viewed that way. I'm just someone who's trying to delay the inevitability of their own death. death. So my relationship with food has been an up-and-down battle over the course of the last 20 years. A battle against oil, salt, sugar, fat, Taco Bell, Del Taco, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Burger King, McDonald's, you name it, I have probably consumed it in greater amounts than you have. It's kind of like an addiction. The way that I've heard alcoholics talk about their relationship with alcohol is very similar to how I feel about food. And all throughout high school, I oscillated, gaining weight and losing weight, basically as I was trying to get this girl or that girl to like me, I would get in shape and then when they would reject me, I would turn to food in my sorrow. But eventually, I convinced someone that they should spend the rest of their life with me, and eight years ago I got married. And that began a slow progression, because I was in shape when I got married, a slow progression to where I found myself four months ago. Happily married, two great kids, but carrying a hundred pounds of excess fat. A hundred pounds of fat that were going to reduce my lifespan, and basically make it impossible for me to see some of the great things that I hope my kids experience in their lives. And then I went to the doctors for a checkup, and I found out that for the first time in my life, I had high blood pressure. And I think this was finally where I got scared enough at seeing those results to decide to take action. I needed to come up with a plan that was going to be drastic enough to change the trajectory of my life. So this is finally what worked for me, or at least what's worked for me so far. Now, if the plan was going to work, it needed to take into account the fact that I'm very good at rationalization. I'll convince myself to go to Taco Bell at midnight, and I'll think it's the best idea in the world, when it's never the right thing to do to go to Taco Bell at midnight. And so the plan would need to be simple, easy to execute, and also motivational enough to keep me going when I wanted to quit. So the first thing I did was make calorie counting as easy as possible. I hate tracking things in apps, and I hate looking up caloric values, so I went with something a little bit more drastic, but much simpler. And that was a food replacement product known as Soylent or more specifically, the one that comes in ready-to-drink bottles. They're 400 calories a bottle, so I would drink five a day, 400 calories per bottle, and that would give me a 2,000 calorie a day diet without having to track anything. Second, I needed to make exercise as efficient as possible, because that's an area where I usually give up as well. And so I put up some money for my bonus, and I got a treadmill desk, the one that I'm walking on right now, and the one that was the whole idea for this channel. So whenever I was watching videos or browsing the internet, I was also exercising at the same time, and I was walking about three or four miles a day. And I also needed to set a prize, something so enticing that it would keep me going when I wanted to quit. And the thing that had been on my mind for the longest time that I couldn't justify the purchase of was virtual reality. But if it came as the prize at the end of meeting my fitness goal, well then that was a little bit more justifiable. But knowing me, I needed accountability as well, because what I would probably do is convince myself to get virtual reality early as a way to distract myself from the temptation of food, even though that would be a lie, and what I would end up doing is just eating junk food while in virtual reality. So accountability is really important. And then I set the goal. I chose a period of 90 days because I figured I could endure anything for 90 days if I was motivated enough. And then I calculated how many calories I burn each day, just by existing and by walking. I subtracted from that the number of calories I would be taking in with Soylent, and then I mapped it out over a 90-day period, and it came out to 60 pounds in 90 days. And lo and behold, after three months, before I started eating everything again, I had lost 60 pounds. Now, I'm making it sound a little bit simpler and easier than it actually was, and there were lots of nights where I went to sleep just dreaming about virtual reality, just to keep me away from giving in or from going in to get food. But it did work, 
and it gave me a little bit of hope, because there was a time there, especially when I was close to 300 pounds, that I thought that was going to be my existence. I would basically be a 300 pound man that could no longer play basketball, that could no longer run, whose kids play sports, but who can't join in with them. And so this turnaround has given me hope that it doesn't have to be that way. But I have to stay motivated, and I have to stay vigilant, and I have to keep moving on to the next goal, which I've already chosen, and which I'm going to tell you about in a future video. But for now, I'd like to hear your story. For those of you who have lost weight, especially after many failures, what finally made the difference for you? What kept you motivated, and what keeps you motivated now? I'd love for you to share your story, and for that to be a part of my experience, too. And if you have any feedback on this video, put it in the comments, too. This is my first time doing something like this, so I'll take the feedback, and I'll learn, and I'll grow, and I'll make things better. But for now, thanks for watching. Click this button to subscribe, and have a great day.